got uh, four, four gentlemen here. Uh, I will share their names. We've got Paul. Um, and I, I don't, and their bios are in here, but I want to also have them introduce themselves. So we've got Paul and Alexander and Michael and Ulysses. So um, uh, Paul and Alexander are current community college students. You just graduated. Okay. Hey, congratulations. And, uh, and then we've got Michael and Ulysses, who are uh, current uh, standing students at San Diego State. So they were transfer students, and uh, they're two of our rock stars. Um, they, we, we've been socializing them into research and you know, graduate <laughs> school. Um, you know, so they're part of a, we, we organized or we, we, we run a, a, a program here. It's the Aztec Research Fellowship Program. And so this year, it's where we focused on um, bringing in about six students, um, all community college transfer students. I think our, our goal behind it was, you know, we talk about how important the pipeline is to higher education, right? But typically, and we don't, I, I was a former transfer student myself, and so I know that I didn't really get to, I didn't learn about graduate school until, you know, much later. I didn't know anything about it during community college or even as an undergrad. I really didn't know what that meant, and so, you know, we talk about if we want to increase that pipeline of our students and men of color to um, graduate education so that they can, you know, earn their graduate, I mean, their doctorate degrees and, and become um, community college presidents or administrators, we need to start that pipeline early. And um, so, so we um, put this, this program together, and so what it is, there's different components, but um, the students, they take a, a research course, it's a year-long program. Um, students come in and uh, they take a, a research seminar with myself and another colleague of mine and kind of just give them intro, intro to research methods, quantitative, qualitative research, and um, part of the class and the program itself, they have to, they, they're all each working on their individual research projects, but they also um, are working uh, collaboratively with one of our, our doctoral students. I know you may or may have not, they're around, I'm sure you've met one of them, or some of them, we've got all of our, um, our research team, uh, they're all doctoral students in the, in the EDD program or the PhD program, and so we also kind of thought about, you know, mentoring, we know that mentoring is uh, a, a great uh, way to kind of keep students connected, and so we, we have our graduate students mentoring these transfer students, and, and engaging them in their own research. And because we are MTC3, all of our research is on community colleges and men of color. So I think it's research that they can relate to because it's representative of their own experiences and experiences of their friends so, or, or family members. So they do research, they, they have to present, they get the opportunity to present at a, um, a conference here at a state, a setting state hosts a, a university-wide conference and so they present their research there. Um, this year, there were several of our students and the Stephanie's here too, they, they won the President's Award and they um, were invited to go to the statewide level and compete at the, um, the statewide students, students, uh, student research symposium. So, um, and then our other students, they won the Dean's Award. So we're really proud of them. We're just like, yay! <laughs> and so the other part of that is, you know, being a researcher means writing, right? And publishing. And so, um, that's another uh, component of the program is that they're, they're conducting this research, but at the end, the final product is that they work with their graduate mentors and with the faculty to produce a, um, a, pu a publication, or a manuscript for publication. And so we work with them to, the, the mentors, I'm not taking any credit, but they work with them to draft this manuscript. And so, you know, in the end, I think it's just, I think back to when I was a transfer student, I didn't have any of this. I didn't know what what research was, and I think typically when we think of undergraduate research, it tends to be in the hard sciences. So I think <coughs> providing opportunities for transfer students to engage in social science research, and, and even research about community colleges. And um, I think that's been it's, been, it's been exciting for us, and I know we're really proud of um, the work that they're doing. Um, so we've got our panelists, and I've got a set of questions that I'm gonna be asking them. Um, so I'm gonna just Let's, let's start with all of you um, sharing your, your names again, uh, where you attend college, and what you're currently um, studying for um, your course of study, what you're pursuing. Let's start with Paul. Hi guys, I'm Paul Padilla, nice to meet you guys. I'm sorry I'm a little underdressed, uh, I just came from work. Um, I'm Paul Padilla, I'm 20 years old, I go to Southwestern College. Um, I'm a business major, 
might do a, uh, a minor in telemedia, started getting into some of that. And how long, how long have you been at your campus? Um, I've been at Southwestern for about two years now. Okay, and what is your long-term educational goal? Uh, I'd like to transfer to university and, you know, get a bachelor's, maybe a master's in an MBA, actually, and then uh, continue on my family Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm Alexander McPherson. I'm 23 years old. I just, uh, by the end of tonight, after I turn in my last paper, I'll be done at PCC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's Portland Community College. Yeah, yes, Portland Community College, and I'm uh, in the African American Men's Scholar Program, coordinated by Dr. Johnson, and he's here with us over there. Um, and my educational goals uh, are, I've been accepted to PSU's Urban Development Program. Um, I'm going to be getting a bachelor's in that with a focus in economics. And my long-term goal is to get a PhD um, in philosophy or in economics or in a social science. So uh, we'll see where things go. But uh, it's forever changing. It's, I'm getting familiarized with the academic world. Hello, uh, my name is Luis Leal. Uh, I transferred from uh, Santa Rosa City College. I'm 24 years old. Uh, I'm also a student here at San Diego State University. My major is philosophy. And I'm, also, um, I'm an ASTIC fellow. I work with, close with uh, Dr. B. And I think the research that we do, it's uh, very important because at least for me, it has been like, it helped me open my eyes to see like different perspectives of, of the faculty members and the students. And also like, to, uh, find different ways to help students to graduate and take a higher education. All right, thank you. Okay, so um, so I know that we've got a, a mix of folks here who are currently college students, graduated, and transfer students, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Um, that, but when thinking about your responses, I want you to reflect on your experiences as a, as a community college student. So my first question is, um, as male students of color, how do you feel that like your identity has influenced your decision to attend? <laughs> yes, I know. So, how do you feel that your identity as Latino male, an African American male, um, how do you feel that, that has influenced or maybe encouraged your decision to go to college? Um, well, first off, I'm half Filipino, half Mexican. So, um, my Mexican side, um, my grandfather and my dad, well, my grandfather served in the military, and uh, my father did two years. JC, but didn't um, finish. Um, but with my mother on the Filipino side, with my grandma and my mom both um, finishing college, my mom just recently did her uh, master's. So, I mean, I was kind of set between both of them. You know, my mom pushed me a lot to go to the school. Um, you know, she really wants me to finish. My dad, you know, was all supportive, saying that, you know, hey, I didn't finish uh, JC. I had to find my way throughout, you know, trial and error, so he wants me to um, do good in school. And, uh, I mean, with my mom just recently uh, getting her master's, you know, opened my eyes a lot more that even though, you know, she had two kids and, you know, she's really the, the stronghold in the house with education that I, you know, need to step forward and follow her steps. Thank you. Is that it? Can you ask a question one more time? <laughs> sure. <laughs> So how has your identity influenced your decision to attend college? Um, I would say it's kind of multifaceted. Um, 
for growing